What's up everybody? This is my first kind of car review on YouTube. So hopefully it's a good video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Something new. Getting to talk to a camera while driving is a bit weird. But yeah. So today we're driving an E46 M3 car that literally everyone in the car world is familiar with. So let's talk more about the, let's talk more about the car. So it's got a 3.2 liter inline six that makes around 250 or so kilowatts. It revs still all the way till 8,000 rpm. Yeah, the noise we're gonna talk about that as I did that downshift. Man was busy sweeping outside the school and he got a bit of a fright. But anyways, uh, this is the S54 engine, which quite weirdly there isn't a direct replacement for this, like a successor. Because after this BMW went to BMW went to the S65 engine, which was the V8. And then afterwards, in the latest generation M3, they're using the S55, which is an inline six, but completely done, reworked because it's turbocharged. So this is building up from the engine in the E36 M3, but they hardly they, sh they hardly share any parts. Like there's like probably like birdies. Okay, birds don't want to die here. Yeah. Anyways. They, we were saying they, they hardly share any parts. This was completely from the ground up. BMW engineers built this engine, and yeah, what an engine! It's 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 a beautiful engine. I have some driving videos out. Let's talk about the drive of this car. It's quite a raw experience. It's like the ride is not all that comfortable, but I mean. You're not buying this car for comfort. I mean, if you want to buy a comfort, comfortable car, I don't know, go buy a Rolls Royce or something. Or Bentley. This is like a boy racer kind of car. You feel the bumps in the road. It's not too harsh. You can go on long distances. But I mean, you feel it through your seat. You feel it through the steering, hydraulically assisted steering. So you get a lot of feedback from the road. You feel, get feedback from, from the brakes. I mean, it, it's quite... It's driver engaged and half of the experience I feel with this car comes from the sound. I mean, it's something else like compared to other inline sixes, the engine makes kind of similar noise, but though I think the way the exhaust is made on this car, it's a really high pitched sound, which some people don't really like. And this particular car is decatted, so it makes a higher zingy noise. fuel consumption fuel consumption on this car it's not uh, I don't know relatively okay you can drive it you can get about 12 liters per hundred kilometers so it's okay if you're gonna put your foot down it can go up then it's not uh, for the size of the engine for the performance it gives it's not bad, that bad at all German engineering is a lot of power for relatively low amount of engine displacement you have um, one thing that's nice in this car and it's first for the M3s uh, from the E36 to this they move to an electronic throttle control so when they allow it so there's a sport button in this car which they which heightens the um, throttle response can I demonstrate sport mode so I'm keeping my foot on the accelerator in, in a constant position and I'm gonna press sport it's just gonna I didn't do anything it's accelerating it's all yay okay I like sport mode off for now okay oh let's see 
what haven't we talked about? Steering wheel. Steering's nice and heavy. Not too heavy. Hydraulically assisted, not electri uh, electrically assisted. Because this car is quite an old car. Relatively old. Uh, oh yeah, let's talk about acceleration. 0 to 100. Uh, manual and SMG for the coupe is about 5 seconds. Provided you gotta get some good tyres and put that power down. Because with traction control, it's gonna... Yeah, traction control just comes in all the time and just halts you in your progress. But it's there for a reason, because you gotta respect this car. You gotta respect the power. I'm gonna do a nice version of the sound. I'll give you some dash cam footage of outside and maybe give you an exhaust mic footage. <laughs> is that like you just touch it and then it's pushing your face into the windscreen it's nice it's progressive they 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 they're sufficient for this car but many people do do some breakup things i mean i think they single pistons you could go really more than that if you track tracking this guy net but i mean for normal driving and the hot breakfast runs here in the mooning around yeah seems sufficient to me so i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment tell me let me know what should i improve if you like the video what did you like and please subscribe share it with your friends uh and hopefully there'll be more videos coming up i'm not so sure how i'm going to do this but it's just going to be for fun every now and then some videos uh if you have a cool car and you want me to make a video about it cool we can make some cinematic shots do some driving you can drive the car i don't have to drive it something cool it doesn't have to be a fancy car anything just uh contact me whatsapp instagram anything and we make a cool video until next time on the ophthalmologist <laughs>